In this video, I'm gonna go over the 14 highest paying remote jobs that are hiring right now now that's right i'm going to be giving you options for different companies that are hiring for these positions in this video and that's why it's so important that you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because if you're watching this like a week or two later these options may not be open anymore but i had my team research the best job opportunities for these careers and we're going to put them in the video so that you can check them out and the first one on the list is going to be an online content moderator and in this position you're going to be responsible for reviewing monitoring and moderating user generated content Content. And this is kind of like being a lifeguard at a crowded beach of internet surfers. Now, this is an entry level position. You don't need a college degree or previous experience to get hired, and it pays about $45,000 a year. So overall, I think this is a great one to kind of get your foot in the door for a remote or work from home job and basically just get started. Not necessarily a job that you would want to do forever. There can be some pretty disturbing content online sometimes. So also keep that in mind because there's different types of content moderators. And if you're someone who's sensitive to potentially violent content, you may not want to do this. But with that being said, I think it's a great opportunity for someone who doesn't have any experience and they want to get a remote job. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Oh, and by the way, Way, here are some job openings that are available. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. The next one on the list is going to be information technology. And this is an umbrella term for a bunch of different careers at basically every level. You've got entry level careers that you can get into without a college degree or previous experience. You've got mid level careers that you can go into after you've gotten some experience. And you even have senior level careers because information technology is incredibly important. And basically, you're going to be responsible for transmitting information and managing the technology technological related processes that your company uses. And information technology careers in general make about $69,000 a year. Now an entry level IT help desk job or something along those lines is probably gonna make somewhere around 50 to 55,000 starting out. And again, that's a career you can get into without a college degree or previous experience. And a great place to start if you wanna learn more about IT and get some entry level training so you can get that first entry level job is going to be Coursera. And Coursera is the leading online platform that brings education right to your fingertips. And if you're passionate about IT and tech, they've got something extraordinary for you. This is a certificate that I reviewed on the channel before and I gave it very high ratings and it's gotten a lot of positive feedback. You can check out the comments. And that of course is the Google Information Technology Professional Certificate. Now this certificate takes about six months, but realistically speaking, you can do it a lot faster than that. And this was developed by Google experts. The reason that Google came out with this program is because they could not find enough talent in the market, right? Colleges were not putting out enough talented people who had IT related skills. And so Google basically just decided to create their own certificate to teach people the things that companies actually want. So this certificate is designed to equip you with the most up to date in demand technology and skills that companies crave. And the best thing is you can access it from the comfort of your home. So when they reached out to me for a sponsorship, I was more than happy to do it because I'd already given them really positive ratings in videos before I ever worked with them. And whether you're new to the IT field or you're a seasoned pro, there is a lot to learn from this certificate. You'll delve into cutting edge topics like troubleshooting, system administration, networking, and security. Plus, you'll get hands-on experience through real world projects that you can use and put on your portfolio. They have top-notch instructors and you can engage with a vibrant online community of global technology learners. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to get started with Coursera and you'll have a free 14-day trial. And even after that trial, it's only $49 a month. So this is the most affordable way to learn IT related skills. So thanks again to Coursera for sponsoring this video and empowering technology professionals to reach their goals. So go ahead, click that link down in the description below. And by the way, if you don't believe me, check out all the positive comments I've gotten from people who have actually taken these certificates. And when it comes to IT related careers in general, I have to give them a 9.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be a supply chain coordinator. Now, I think in the last few years, everybody in the world saw how important important supply chain management is, right? Like products don't just magically appear at your doorstep or magically appear on store shelves. They do have to go through this thing called a supply chain. And supply chain coordinators are the masterminds behind the scenes. And they coordinate the management and flow of goods across supply chain networks. And supply chain coordinators make about $55,000 a year. Now you don't have to have a degree or previous experience to get started with this, but both of those do help. So yeah, this is a pretty good one. It does tend to require a little bit more experience 
than some of the other ones. But overall, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. The next one on the list is going to be a genealogy researcher. And here's also some opportunities for this one before I forget. And basically with this position, you're going to be responsible for tracing and documenting family history. And so basically they're kind of like a genetic detective and genealogy researchers make about $59,000 a year. And this is another one that does not require a college degree or previous experience. So that salary is pretty good. Now, I think there's a lot of different genetic related technologies and jobs that are going to be popping up in the next five to 10 years. It is a field that's getting more and more popular. For instance, people are able to basically predict what kind of health problems they're going to have later in life based off of their genetics. And you could probably imagine that that's pretty useful. So I do see a ton of opportunities in genetics, and I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a learning and development specialist. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And this is someone who designs and implements training programs within a company. And this is designed to enhance employee skills, foster professional growth, and drive organizational performance. And in this position, you'd expect to make about $60,000 a year. Now, this is typically not an entry-level position. You usually are going to have to have some experience before going into this position. I mean, it makes sense, right? You're going to be training other people. But with that being said, you don't necessarily have to have experience in a specific career. So overall, this one's pretty good. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is a resume writer. And this is one that is pretty good, but honestly, I think there's a lot more opportunities if you freelance. And this one is especially good if you're currently working in either a career or working at a company that is prestigious. So for instance, if you are currently making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year working in the finance industry, this could be a great business to start. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You help people to write their resumes and help them to get hired. And of course, you're going to be better at writing resumes if you work in the career that they're trying to get hired in. And as a resume writer, you would expect to make about $62,000 a year. Now, this is one where, of course, you can't get into it at the entry level. You need to have some experience, but there's a lot of opportunities for resume writers in specific industries. So this can be a really good one for you to look into. Oh yeah, and here's some opportunities in case I didn't mention them before. So overall, I'll give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is going to be a workplace experience manager. And this is the person who is responsible for creating and managing the overall employee experience in a remote work environment. And in this position, you'd expect to make about $69,000 a year. Now, this is another one that is not entry level, but typically you don't have to have a specific job in order to get into this. You just need some work experience. Now, here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And overall, I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a partnership engagement specialist. And this is a person who is responsible for identifying, developing, and managing strategic partnerships between companies. So as you can imagine, that can be incredibly valuable. And a lot of the times companies can win even more if they work with each other. Now in this position, you would expect to make about $69,000 a year. Typically you are gonna have to have some work experience, although it doesn't matter too much what that experience is. And overall, this one is pretty good. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And here's some opportunities. The next one on the list is going to be a queue manager. And basically they optimize the flow of either tasks or customers through a queue. And basically this is done to streamline operations as well as improve the customer experience. And you're kind of like an air traffic controller, except instead of planes, it's going to be customers as well as tasks. And queue managers make about $74,000 a year. Now this is not an entry level one. You're gonna have to have some experience for this, but you don't necessarily have to have a college degree. Now here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and I'll give this one an eight out of 10 score. The next one on the list is going to be a title officer. And basically you're responsible for conducting research and examining property titles to make sure they're legit. And in this position, you'd make about $79,000 a year. And as you can imagine, you can do this remotely. Now, typically you're gonna have to have a background working in real estate, but a lot of people have worked as real estate agents. There's probably a lot of people now that could apply to these positions. And by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. So pretty good. I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is an academic designer. And basically you're gonna be responsible for designing and implementing educational curriculum in an online learning environment. Now this position as well as positions like it absolutely exploded in the last three years, as you could imagine. Just about all education went online for a long period of time. And a lot of people decided that they kinda of like it and they wanna continue learning online. So there's still a lot of demand for these skills and academic designers make about $91,000 a year. Now this is very 
similar to instructional design. It's just a little bit more specialized. And instructional design is another great career to get into. Typically, this is not an entry level career, although you can break into it at the entry level without having a college degree or previous experience. It's just a little harder. A lot of the time people will break into this if they have a background in something creative or artistic or they have a background in education. So this one is pretty good. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Oh yeah, and here's some opportunities in case I didn't mention them before. The next one on the list is going to be a project coordinator. And basically what they're gonna do is collaborate with various teams, track progress, manage schedules, handle documentation, and act as the central point of communication for a project. So this is basically the same thing as a project management position, but in different industries for whatever reason, they call it different names. But anyways, project managers make about $97,000 a year. This is one where you are gonna need some previous experience. And in many cases, they are going to prefer a college degree. Here are some opportunities, put them up on the screen. And by the way, I do like this one because it's kind of like entrepreneurship with training wheels. You basically get to oversee an entire project. So you're gonna have to be able to wear a lot of different hats. And that's something you're gonna need to do if you ever go out and start your own business. So overall, I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is one of my favorite software development related careers, and that is DevOps engineer. And this is somebody who's really good when it comes to software development as well as IT. And their main job is to ship products as fast as possible. And shipping as fast as possible basically means you get the product from a prototype to actually being able to be used by your customers as fast as you can. And DevOps is such a valuable skill set because if a company can get a product done maybe like a week early, that could literally end up making the company like an extra $10 million. And that's why DevOps engineers make about $135,000 a year. So this is another one where you technically don't need a college degree. A lot of people get into software development related positions without a college degree. But with that being said, you're definitely going to need some previous experience working in either software or IT but I do really like this one. I definitely see the value of it. It can be done remotely, but it can also tend to be a bit of a stressful job. But if you're the type of person who kind of likes challenges and likes being able to do things really quickly and being busy, this can be a great one for you. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And finally, let's talk about the blanket career, which is software engineering. This is sort of a blanket statement that covers a bunch of other types of careers. You have front end engineers, you got back end engineers, and you got a Bunch of different types of those. But I think everyone knows software engineers are incredibly valuable and high paid. In fact, they make about $139,000 a year. So not going to go into this one too long, but here's some opportunities for this one. And I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked this video out, I did make one on six work from home jobs that do not require a resume or interview. And you can check that out by clicking right here.